Welcome or welcome back to my channel, you guys. Let's dab me up real quick. Dab me up. Dab me. Up. Come on. Make sure to subscribe if you guys like videos like this. Today I'm going to be talking about a topic uh, to help you guys because it has helped me. That's what I'm here for because, you know, sometimes we out here doing everything alone. We want to do everything alone. We want other people's help, but then we realize that, you know, it's not going to work because we're a loser and we're a loner. So then you have to start relying on yourself for other things. So, you know, to make things easier, I'm going to be your 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 guide, your mentor, whatever you need me to be. If you guys like videos like this, make sure to like, comment, subscribe now, and let's get right on to the video. Today, I just wanted to talk about a subject that really went across my mind the other day. Why it is important to check in on yourself. Um, now, I feel like you guys feel as if you guys probably do this already and everything. But I feel like a lot of people don't because I often don't at times. So actually, like, I got home one day and I was actually talking to my mom about this. I was like, you know, like, I got home from a long day. I sit down and I actually start feeling emotions like immediately when I get home and it was like you know when you're not mad but you're not happy but you're not, you're sad but you're happy but you're there's all these feelings it's because you actually sit down and let yourself feel what it need what you need to feel so when I say feel what you need to feel like I sat down and I was immediately feeling all these emotions and everything and I was like okay where is this coming from and I was just staring off and then I finally you know started explaining to my mom I said like you know ma like I feel like I don't check in on myself enough and she's like you know what do you mean and this is the conversation I had with her that I kind of want to have with you guys because at that moment I really did feel a bunch of feelings but then I was able to go to the next day and feel like I feel better you get what I'm saying now a lot of people you may not feel like you may feel like I'm fine everything's good in my life everything's perfect you might feel all these things and you feel happy but if you ever sit down and sit down and look at your life and like just let yourself feel what it needs to feel, you might find things different. Do you get what I'm saying? And if you don't get what I'm saying, I'm going to go into detail real quick. And I am going to try to make this video sweet, short, and simple because, you know, I'm chilling right now and I got other things I got to be doing. As example, in my life. Everything is fine. I like I feel like at times I run off of no emotion, meaning like every time something bad happens, I'm like, okay, I get rid of it. Every time something good happens, I'm like, awesome. Like, and then but I move through my emotions very quickly. And when you do that, you kind of tell your emotions to shut up in a form. Like, I'm sorry the way I said it, but that's kind of the way I'm trying to come off. Some people they put their emotions in their pocket so much that when something happens, they're easily triggered and everything goes crazy because they never dealt with their emotions back then. When I say it's important to check in on yourself, as example me, and I wanna use this analogy and this is the real reason why I made this video because I want y'all to understand the analogy I'm trying to push out and you know, like I want y'all to understand what I'm saying. As example, I don't know if a lot of people seen Split. Um, that movie's really good and everything, but what I see out of that movie is something completely different. Not really, but I feel like every human being has different personalities. I was like, what the bump is this? I feel like every human being has different personalities or not personalities, but I've, I feel like every human being has different sides of them. Um, I forgot this movie, but my mom was actually watching the movie and like I seen like the character get up, the dark character and everything. Like it's kind of hard to explain, so I'm not even gonna go into that, but this is the way I feel like it is. And I, I, I wanna let you guys know it is that way. You know, like as example for me, I just want to go straight to the example, right? Me, I'm myself, okay? Because I am myself, I have different sides of me. You know, we all get mad, we all get sad, we all get happy, we all get angry, we all get feel like, you know, there's so many sides to us. And you know, we all just think that, oh, like that's just a side or I just, you know, I get like that sometimes. But the way I feel like everybody should look at it as if, we're all people with split personalities because that movie I feel like is very true like you know what I mean like of course you know it's fun funny it was a pretty good movie but that is very true and once you realize that's true you might actually have more control over yourself than you think 
as an example, right? I'm myself. I get mad sometimes. I get happy sometimes. I get um, emotional at times. I, th I believe it's important to check in on yourself because you need to check in on all those sides of you. Because that one day that I came home, I sat down, I took a seat, and I was like, I just felt these emotions. I did not realize I was putting my emotions, everything that I've been going through, away and that it was gonna build up when I actually sit still. When that happens, people, you know, like to drink, smoke, and do all these things to get rid of those emotions because they don't want to feel. But I just want to let you know that it's okay to feel. You need to feel your emotions to understand what you're feeling like, what's going on, so you can make choices off of those feelings appropriately. When I say that, it's it's kind of it's, it's gonna be it's it's probably hard for you to understand, but I want you guys to all know that. We all have these different personalities, like, and this is an analogy I brought it to my mom, right? So I was like, Ma, like, you know how, okay, so I'm going to explain it to you in the best way that I possibly can. So when I look at myself, right, when I get mad, there's a girl who gets mad, right? She's in the back corner. When she gets mad, I am in charge of myself, okay? Now, there are other parts of me, like I said, split personalities, but these people, they're locked in rooms. You have to understand they are in a room inside of you, right? When you understand that they are in a room, that means you have to understand that you are the person in charge of you. You get to control when you're sad. You get to control when you're happy. You get to con you control every part of you, but it's up to you to also let those sides out, okay? I'm not saying let your side out as soon as you feel it, but what I'm saying, when you put your emotions and everything in your back pocket, you need to take time to check in on yourself. Check in, and on, check in on all those emotions. When something happens, you don't gotta really break down and start crying right there, let her take control, but like, when you have a moment, talk to yourself, look at yourself, understand yourself. Like when I get mad about something, I don't let the girl fly out immediately or at least I try my best not to. You know, I'm a little spicy, I, I, I get upset. I try to do it in a more appropriate manner. When I'm to myself, I sit still and I'm talking to my, the, I, 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 I speak to myself and I tell the, the girl that's upset, I'm like, hey, listen, I know you're upset. I know they did you wrong. I know they shouldn't have done that. I know you have every right to be mad. But listen to me. I'm in charge here. And I feel like you are going to get me into a situation. Do you get what I'm saying? You need to talk to yourself just like that. Because you need to understand you are in charge of your own body. You are in charge of all your thoughts. You are in charge of everything that goes on inside of you. Or around you. You know what I mean? And like it's up to you to let a side of you dictate your future. Do you get what I'm saying? So when a heartbreak happens... It's going to be up to you to let the sad girl that has every right to be upset, every right to be sad, every right to cry. You have the choice to let her take over your life and you just be sad for the rest of your life. Or you could take control of yourself. Do you get what I'm saying? Or you tell her, hey, sis, I understand you're mad. I understand you're sad. I understand they should not have done that to you. You are sad. I, I understand. But. You deserve to be happy and you need to tell that happy person to go talk to her until she's okay and uplift her because you need to keep functioning. You need to keep, you need to keep grinding. You need to, you need to keep leveling up. Do you get what I'm saying? You can't let someone stop your process, your growth. You get what I'm saying? It's very important to check in on yourself because like I said, we put our emotions and everything away a lot of the times and don't even realize it like and then you don't realize it until you blow up on somebody or you don't realize it until you just break down crying and you're like why am I sad like I don't understand you're sad because you never dealt with a situation that happened so long ago you never talked to yourself about it it dealt with it in inside of you it's one thing to tell yourself oh don't worry about it girl you'll be all right but it's another thing to actually talk to yourself and let yourself know or let that side of you know hey girl like I understand you know what I mean like I understand you know let's talk about this you know like think of you and your friend having an argument do you guys argue and just say okay it's fine no let's talk about this let's see what we can do to make this better let's see what we can do to make sure I you never feel this way again you get what I'm saying I just want to make sure I pass that thought on to you guys I don't know if I'm explaining it the best way that I possibly could but I just want to make sure that I at least got it off my chest because I feel like this can really help somebody you know, we all go through things, and I feel like, especially the people who are alone, 
you know they have no one to rely on they have no one to talk to i want to at least be the person you can talk to in situations like this and if you don't want to talk to me that's fine you know like don't watch my videos i'm playing playing go ahead go watch my videos girl dab me up subscribe don't forget to subscribe didn't forget i didn't forget i just want to make sure you at least knew like you know you are in control of you and you have to check in on yourself check in on yourself because that's how you keep going. You you know, it's going to be easy to give up. What the bum? What the bum is? It's going to be easy for you to, you know, give up. You get what I'm saying? Like, it's like when I say give up, you get to easily tell yourself, okay, girl, you're going to be fine. Like, you know, but stop telling yourself that and actually talk to yourself. Check in on her and say, hey, how are you, girl? How are you doing? Like, there's different parts of you. You need to understand you are not just one person. So when you... I'm gonna go into another analogy. Stop thinking you have to be mad all the time. You're mad all the time because you let her dictate your life. And until you tell her you are in charge of your life and she is not in charge of you, like she is just a side, she is just an emotion, she is not you. Until you talk to her and tell her that, she is always gonna be you. And you're always gonna feel like, I'm just a mad person, I'm just a sad person, I'm just a depressed person. Until you talk to yourself and tell yourself at each one of those sides that they are not you, until you do that, you're just not gonna be happy with yourself. Do you get what I'm saying? I'm happy with myself because I've learned to control my emotions. I've learned to tell myself that they're different. They're gonna be, you know, we are all different people but i'm the head i'm the head person the person that is talking to you right now i am her i am the person that is talking to you right now i am her do you get what i'm saying and this is the center of me i am this this is the center don't get me wrong i get mad sometimes i get sad sometimes but those are for moments i don't let that dictate the person that i am now some people are like, oh she's fake or oh she one minute she's like this or one minute first of all shut your behind up because first of all this is me the, the the person you're talking to right now this is me those other sides i choose when to let those come out don't get me wrong you can't always choose like you know like it's easier said than done but it takes practice. So when I get mad, I have to practice how to not let her dictate my life or let her be aggressive. When I get sad, I have to look, she, she, I had to teach her to not be so sad. Like, it's okay, wipe those tears. Well, I'll talk to you later. Like, you know what I'm saying? And when you say, I'll talk to you later, talk to her later. That's the whole point of this video. I don't want to be sitting here wasting all your time and everything or, you know, just going on a rant because I go on rants. So, you know, I could rant all day. I could sit here all day, talk to you, we'll let you know what's up, what's popping. What I really want to let you know is that if you don't get anything from this video, I want you to understand that you are in charge of you. You are in charge of every side that you have in you. You need to talk to yourself. You need to check in. Stop letting yourself hang or telling your mad side, oh, I'll talk to you later, like just sit down. Because then next thing you know, when a situation happens, she's blowing up or you're blowing up because you let her take over your life because you never talked to her earlier. And then now it's your fault. Yes, it is your fault because you told her you'll talk to her and you never did. And now she's mad and now she got you in a situation, if you get what I'm saying. So some of y'all might think I'm absolutely crazy. Some of y'all might think that I'm just talking out of my behind. But if you don't take anything from this video, one day when you actually get home, you had a long day at work, when you actually have time to time to yourself, I want you to sit there and listen to the voices that play in your head. You're gonna hear either a girl that's mad, a girl that's sad, a girl that's happy, or you're just gonna get like you're just or you're just gonna feel just but I guarantee you, like there's no way to explain this, but I guarantee you, if you sit down and let your thoughts be thoughts, you won't just hear nothing. You'll hear somebody saying something. That's the person you need to talk to. So when you're happy, oh, you know, girl, good job. You know what I mean? And talk to her. I'm glad that you're happy, but stay humble. If you hear a mad girl saying like, oh my God, I'm so frustrated about the, what she did to me today. Talk to her. It's okay, girl. You know what I mean? I uh, thank you for not being so aggressive at that moment, but now, you know, I'm taking care of you and I'm, I'm hearing you out. I'm listening to you. You need to talk to yourself like you are your best friend. Like you are, you know what I mean? You only have yourself at the end of the day. You can't expect everybody to do you right. But it's up to you on what you do with you. And that's all I can really say for this video. Um, you know, I, I like to get in a rant. I like to let you guys know what I go through because I feel like I can help somebody else out. I feel like somebody may be confused on something. But it is very important to check in on yourself because... 
there's more to you than what you think you it's not just you there's other people inside of you and you need to tell them what's up what's going on you need to check in on them because if you don't that is the reason why a lot of people suffer from what they're suffering is because they never take time to work on each and individual person you can be happy but to be happy all the time and expect nothing to go wrong that's why when you get in your feelings it hurts so bad because you were never preparing that side of you do you get what i'm saying when you get mad at something that that mad person takes over your life and she starts roaring at everybody because you never told that mad girl hey listen i'm gonna talk to you later and i'm gonna talk to you and teach you how to be better teach you you need to teach every side of you how and when to come out but yeah i just want to give you guys a little talk and everything because that has been something that's been go whoa that's been something that's been going on in my mind and I just, I couldn't wrap my thoughts around it and I couldn't understand like why, you know what I'm saying? Like why when I get mad do I feel so mad? But it's okay. I want to let you guys know it's okay to feel. Some people think it's not okay that they only, can, that, that if in their life they only have to be happy. In their life they only have to be sad. In their life they are only given the right to be angry. Like you have every right that you, you, you are in charge of you. Who is someone to tell you you're a, you're just a mad person? No, I'm not just a mad person. My mad side came out, and I talked to her about it. You get what I'm saying? Like, talk to her about it, and then you be go back to you. You get what I'm saying? I feel like I have so much peace in my heart. I have so much peace with my life because when you realize you're in control of situations, you no longer feel obligated to be only one. You can be multiple things, and you can take care of it. That's your business. You get what I'm saying? On the other note, if you guys like talks like this, I'm sorry to give you guys a rant. Um, I usually am more professional with this, got my notes and everything, but today I just felt like this is coming off of my heart and I wanted to let you guys know the people who are to themselves and don't have anybody to really talk to, I want to be able to help you out uh, because you might only have YouTube. You know what I'm saying? You don't have an Instagram or even if you do, you don't have friends on there. It's okay, I got you. Get me up. Um... Yeah, but I just want to make sure I got that off my chest. If you guys like videos like this, make sure to like, comment, subscribe down below. I'll never let you down. You feel me? Dap, 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 bop. And I will definitely be seeing you guys in my next video.